In this video, we will be discussing timber technology. Timber is used in construction and furniture industries. We will be demonstrating the various stages in converting a tree into marketable size lumber. Section 1. At the end of this section, you should be able to A. Discuss timber producing trees and B. Discuss felling trees. What are timber producing trees? These are the type of trees that are able to be converted into marketable sized lumber that can be used to make structures such as furniture, roofs, staircase, and so on. Generally, trees are classified as hardwood and softwood. These can be identified by the size and shape of the leaves and the cell structure. One of the ways to identify softwood trees is to examine the leaves. These will have usually fine needle-like leaves. Another way to identify hardwood trees is to examine the leaves. Hardwood trees are usually broader in leaves than softwood trees. The trees mainly used for household furniture are mahogany, cedar, and pine. Softwood trees are popular in the building industry. Felling a tree. Have you ever wondered where the wood comes from to make all these well-polished and beautiful furniture? The wood comes from trees all over the world, sometimes from home or a woodland near home or from a forest. So it is simple. The wood comes from trees, which are called timber producing trees. The trees are cut down by experienced lumberjacks. The persons who cut the tree do so with an axe or by using the more modern method, which is with the use of a powered chainsaw. The men usually make a cut called the Humboldt, scarf or the undercut in the intended direction of the fell. This way the lumberjacks can easily control the direction of the fall and reduce the damage. Then a back cut is performed opposite side of the undercut. As soon as the tree is fell, the branches, crown branches and leaves, and the root are cut off leaving the trunk, which is most suitable for furniture construction. In more recent times, lumberjacks have employed new ways of cutting trees. They would trim the crown and use it as a cushion for trunk to fall on, so as to protect it from damage. The trunk is sometimes called a log. The log is then taken to the sawmill to be converted to timber.